Trails are often used in games for weapon slashes, projectiles and magic. While Gero provides particle trails, they are not ideal for this purpose. In this video, I will show you how to create trails in Gero using a free plugin. Source code for this project is down in the description and if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's slide in linked in the description. You will find a link to this GitHub repository for the GPU trail plugin. To download it, go to code and then download zip. Once you have done that, you can head back to Gero and head over to the asset library tab. And then we can go into import and then we can locate our downloaded file. In my case, it's in my downloads. And here I have it, GPU trail main zip, and we can just open it. And this will prompt us to install it, press install, and it will say OK. And we might have to press project and reload current project for it to show up in our project. Now I have our GPU trail main in our project, but for it to work inside of Gero, we have to put it inside of another folder. So right click in your files and create a new folder. And name this add-ons and drag your gpu trail inside of add-ons and now if we go into the plugins we will see gpu trail and we can enable it now we can close this down and the plugin should work now you can also enable it through project and project settings and on plugins tab enable we can make a new scene and let's make this a 3d scene i'm gonna hit the plus button and search for gpu and add a gpu trails 3d this is from the plugin that we downloaded so hit create so if i drag the node around a little bit you will see the trail and you will first change the curve because right now it's some weird mess so select the points and hit delete to remove them or you could also press the arrow that returns it to default and you can make a new curve and make two curves something like this and now if you drag it around it's more smooth now i can show you with the color ramp it's also a mess because it's a bunch of different colors i want it to only be white for this so i'm gonna make all the points white and that's a little bit better I'm also gonna give it a texture right now so go into the assets for me right now and I'm gonna put in this texture and now it will look something like this then I'm gonna show with this texture this gives a really cool effect as well and also with this texture you can also change the length of the trail right now it's set to 100 and it's this long you could double it and set it to 200 it will be twice as long so that's something let's close the color ramp down and the curve and we're also going to enable billboard and you might want to enable use red as alpha to use the red color as the alpha and then an important thing is on the time and then you want to have a fixed fps for this because otherwise it will be different length depending on your frame rate so I'm gonna set it to 60, but you probably wanna set it to 30. I'm gonna remove the texture for now. I'm gonna clear it. And we'll just make it the white one. You can also go into the curve, and if you decrease the top point, you will make the whole thing smaller. So it will look more like this. 0.25 is good, but it will depend on whatever you're using it for. So if it's not smooth whenever you're moving it around, you can increase the amount to something higher than the length, and in my experience that made it even more smooth and that's about it for the actual gpu trail that i want to show off and i have a scene here with a knight and a animation of him inspecting the weapon and then trying it out and i want to add a trail to the weapon and on the skeleton 3d hit the plus button and add a bone and what you want is the bone attachment 3d select that and hit create and it's giving us a warning and it's because we have to attach it to a bone so on the bone name and what we want for this case is the right hand i had to go to project and reload current project for it to update now it's attached to my hand and as a child to this we can copy our gpu trail so select it and Control c and then on the bone attachment Control v to paste it now if we play the animation, the trailer will follow the hand, but that's not exactly what we want. So we can go into the side view and adjust it a little bit so it's in the right position. Go into the different views and try to align it and also align the rotation with the sword. 
I think that's pretty good. And if we play the animation again, and we see it's quite a small trail, as we showed earlier, go into the curve and just increase the curve. I want it even bigger, so I'm gonna make it 100. And you might wanna attach a texture to it so it's not that uh, crazy. It looks pretty cool. And you probably only want the trail to show when he's actually swinging the weapon. And for that you could try to align with the frames for when he starts swinging. So right here I wanna make a key. And you can make a key for the length. So I want the length to be 100 right here. And if we scroll down to the bottom and if we hit the key button and hit create. It will create a new key at the bottom of the animation and we can go back to the start and make this one so it's short make a new key and if i play it now it won't show the trail and when it starts swinging it will show the trail and then you probably want it to stop showing when he's done swinging and then i can make a new key here and then right after a key i can hold on control and zoom in a little bit right after this one we can decrease it to one you could make it more gradual but i'm gonna make it like this and if i play it again i'm gonna go down to the beginning swings it and it stops showing you could add more keys to make it more smooth i'm also gonna show without billboard because i'm interested in seeing how it looks Thanks for watching and special thanks to our Kofa members for making this video possible. If you want to support our work and have your name be featured in future videos, check out our Kofa in the description and we will see you in the next one.